Hi guys and welcome back to Theme Hospital. We are on Hospital 2, I do believe. And if you want to know what the uh, objective is for this one, I'm pretty sure it flashed up at the end of last video. So we need to make sure we put radiators in because as we found out in the last episode, it has to be radio, uh, radio, radiator central. Right, let me hire someone to put in there because as I said before the um Oh actually he's quite good, we'll have him. The amount of staff members and the actual staff members available change with time. So while we're getting the place set up it might be a good idea to uh nab the best ones. General diagnosis. I never feel like they do anything in general diagnosis. Well, apparently they do. I've heard they do. Right, can I build something in between these two because that would be very good for space. Oh actually yeah, as I've put the door on the front I might as well just do that. But yeah, as I said in my space colony, yeah space colony video episode 2, I'm going to be recording my videos a little bit differently to how I normally do. I'm going to be doing some shorter videos but s still an alright length but I mean I'm going to do some shorter videos so I can do some shorter videos more often rather than doing some longer ones and then not doing any for a few weeks because it takes so long and it's such a hassle to um, upload because my internet is absolutely shocking. Well not a hassle because I like doing my videos but it's just annoying because it takes like seven or eight hours to upload one like half an hour episode. So if I do them in shorter increments then hopefully it will be quicker to upload so you guys will get more content quicker. Which is obviously win-win for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. See, this is a tiny place to start off with. I can't remember if they give you an extra place to begin with. If I do this and then set down the receptionist and all that stuff next to it, then we should be ready to open already and I might speed up the opening there. Oh, whoops. Um, should I actually? No, I don't think I even put the, the uh, radiator in there. Radiator in there. See, it's quite clever the game mechanics in that while you're altering a room you can choose to put radiators in there or if you um or if you forget to then you can just buy radiators out of the normal furnished corridor thing and put them in wherever you need them so that's quite handy we need a million bazillion benches obviously uh drinks machine some more radiators right okay Obviously going to need some benches outside these two, because these two get the most packed. Then if we put some along this back wall, and then some, I was going to say some in front, but that's kind of not in front. Do that, that, that. Put that there. Put some more benches. Oh yeah, that's going to be in the way of the receptionist, isn't it? Right, okay. So we need to find a D. Oh no, there's only three left. No, actually, Bates, Taurus, and Museums. I never know what they mean by that. Anyway, but she's charming, polite, and helpful, and we will need her to deal with the customers. Patience. There we go. So let's have a look. Where even is our. Is this one? Uh, progress. Yeah, progress report. So I need at least a thousand. So we've obviously done that. Mine's five hundred because I haven't treated anyone. So forty percent to your hospital. I don't understand. Okay, we'll just watch that go up. Cure forty people. Make sure it's worth sixty thousand. What's that? Oh yeah, look, people are cold. Ha 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 ha. Right. So let's make everybody boiling. Anyway, as you'll be able to see here, this is what I own currently and all the people. You can toggle people on and off and things like that. But anyway, these are plot areas that you can buy. It says the plot number. 
how many I think I'm assuming plot area is the amount of squares you get and it says it's for sale and it tells you how much so as you can see this one's a lot larger it's a lot more money so if we needed to expand which we I think we will because as our research progresses we'll need different types of rooms for diagnosis and stuff on this level so we'll need to buy that so should I buy that now? How much is it? 5,500. What have I got? 33. Yeah, we'll buy that now. Oh, I need some, um, yeah, handyman. That's what I was just thinking. I need a handyman. Go, handyman. Be free. Fix my, fix my hospital, please. There we go. See, we've already diagnosed someone with a new thing, I think. Gut rot. How lovely. Mrs. O'Malley's good time whiskey cough mixture. What, so they just drink too much co whiskey cough mixture? Ew, no stomach cool on it. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Yay! We win. Do I win? I think I should win now. But no. Hello? Telephone? No. It said it was cold in this area, didn't it? So we'll put down another radiator. There we go. So everybody can just boil to death rather than freeze to death. So. Is he cold? Is that what he's saying? Let's have a look actually. Has he even got a radiator where he is? Um, yeah, he seems to have. See, I've got I've already got an alright uh, heating bill. Anyway, so what do we need from there? We could get a research department. Or research, yeah, that too. Um, because obviously then you get to tailor what research you do and whether you want to do research on diagnosis and things like that. So we need a staff room though. I completely forget about the staff rooms every time. So if we have enough room for a radiator obviously, a sofa and a TV. So there's that, that'll do for now. Yay, the squids. We know that one. Not very nice. Oh yeah, I need some cu customer. I keep thinking customer toilets. But they're not. It's because they call them customers on here and it just greatly confuses me. Plus I work in the retail industry as well, so we have customers. Right, so if we, we've probably got enough for three toilets. Um, three sinks and a radiator. There we go. I always forget to put toilets, but that's probably not a good idea seeing as people come in with the squits. So we probably want to cure that quite sharpish. Oh yeah, as I've seen before, the uh, the research department needs to be rather large because... Actually, I don't like it there. It needs to be rather large because they use an autopsy machine to um, like decide how better to cure people. But the thing is, I really don't want to put this in here. Uh, put it in the corner out of the way. The thing is, they put people in the autopsy machine. I'm pretty sure that they're still alive when they put them in the auto autopsy machine. Like, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure they are still alive. Because when people find it, if you um, send people there too often, it'll say that people have found out about your auto autopsy room and they're not happy so no one's coming to your hospital ever again and then your reputation goes right down and you struggle to find anybody who wants to come to your place so we don't actually have anybody to do our research at the moment so if we check i'm pretty sure we've got someone with research with like a research degree this dude where are you in inflation because the um the consultant guy although he hasn't got any specialities he can um he can work pretty much anywhere apart from the psychiatry and the research place so he can work in the inflation room instead what is it i normally do so i normally put all of my money into diagnosis quite quickly because if you don't know how to like if you don't diagnose people then you have to start doing the thing that we did a lot in the last episode we have to guess or you send them home which is bad 
Maybe I should put a couple of chairs outside the bloaty head place. Woohoo, killed six. Yeah, not killed new one. Woo. Quite glad we haven't killed new one yet. That would not be good. But seeing as I'm doing these shorter episodes, I think I'm going to start labelling them differently on my channel as well. So it will probably this will probably end up being a ho uh, hotel. Hospital two part one or whatever or two and then point one, I don't know. We will we will work it out as we go along. So everything seems to be running quite nicely actually, the handy men are doing their thing. Hang on. Your team has discovered a new condition. It's bloated head, yeah we've seen this. Sniffing cheese and drinking unpurified rainwater. This is just lovely. The the people they pop their head like there. It's a bit grim. Thirty-three patients, and you'll have cured enough to win this level. Ooh, who wants to come for a visit? Mayor of Greater Trumpton. Yeah. Come see, we're brilliant. Where's our queue for GP's office? Because sometimes it gets like I've only ever, or normally I only used to um put one GP's office, and then when you get to the later levels, there's like millions of people that need to see a GP. So I have to start putting a second one. So I might keep an eye on that and try and do that more often in this one. Try and make sure that there is enough GPUs to go around. Put the radiator in there for good measure. Ah, uh, we need to start guessing again. Oh no, go ahead for now. How are we getting on with our research actually? Not very much. See, that's like where we are now. And that's how much I think we have to research. Ooh, I'm pretty sure I heard somebody else being cured. Oh, there's a lot of people. Is he going to the toilet or is he cured? Oh, he's cured. So he, I'm, I'm guessing by the toilet roll on his Doctor head, he GP's had the squirts. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on here? Oh, he's tired. Okay. Because you can set the threshold. Where is he? Um, this one? Nope. This one. Aha, there we go. So they have to, you can change these, so like, what? If a doctor's diagnosis is less certain than the send home percentage. All right, okay, so you can send it up. So if he's, if he's got like a 30% chance, then I can, um, uh, oh, whoops. If I um put it quite hard, so if I put it here, then anything less than about 20%, then he'll send them home. If he's not very sure. So if we go guess, whoops, put that there. Do we have it? Oh, right there. And we'll put. Ah. We'll just leave everything as it is right now. Just watch leave it like that. I like how they say "watch out" as if they're a bad guy. Sleeping illness, overactive sleep gland. Ah, I know someone with that. Ha 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 ha. 